Marion Crane lasts almost 30 minutes before her fateful shower scene. John Hurt lasts even longer before he suffers some grisly chest pains in Alien. However, some of the most horrifying scenes and events occur in the first 10 minutes of a horror film. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, we're going to be counting down the top 5 scariest opening scenes in horror movies. Before we begin, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. Let's jump in. In at 5, Carrie. Carrie is one of my favourite films of all time, the original that is, not the crap that was Chloe Grace. Moretz's remake. As we know, Carrie is a movie about a bullied outcast who uses her telekinetic powers for revenge against the teens that slighted her. The opening begins with the gym class playing volleyball, with the camera panning down to reveal Carrie, played by Sissy Spacek, standing nervously at the back. We then cut to a slow motion locker room scene, which is incredibly voyeuristic. The camera once again finds Carrie in the shower, as blood begins to drip down her legs and swirl down the drain. Her period sends her into a panic, as her mother never taught her about puberty and the changes the body goes through as we grow old. Older. Her classmates watch on as Carrie screams in horror, yelling for help, believing that she must be dying. And how do her classmates react? They pelt her with pads and tampons while laughing and chanting, plug it up plug it up. Though it isn't scary in the classic horror sense, it is terrifying because it relates to social anxieties that we all have. That of public mockery and loneliness, and it is our first warning sign that Carrie is completely alone in the film, and unequipped to navigate the cruel world that she lives in. In at number 4, It Follows. Released in 2014, It Follows is a supernatural horror from David Robert Mitchell that tells the story of a fatal curse that is passed from victim to victim via sexual intercourse. The opening shot is about 2 minutes and is tightly controlled, following a girl fleeing a house and running down her suburban street. As an audience, we have no idea what the girl is running from or who she even is, but what is terrifying is the sound design and the persistent movement of the camera that leads us to believe that an immediate threat is near as we scale the screen searching for anything that might be responsible for her reaction. At this point we have no idea that the threat is the movie's invisible shape shifting monster that will follow the young girl until she is killed or she passes along her curse to someone else through sex. But as we see from the scene the girl doesn't last long as she patiently waits on the beach at twilight before it cuts to the next morning and we are forced to gaze upon her mangled and broken body. Know that I love you, okay? Coming in at number three, Ghost Ship. Now, this 2002 Ghost Ship is not a good film by any means. It follows a salvage crew who discover the eerie remains of a Grand Passenger liner thought to be lost for more than 40 years. However, the opening scene sent chills down most of our spines and left fans fearing what may come next. Though, as we know, it was just utter disappointment. It opens with a cruise ship as passengers dance romantically beneath the stars. However, tension quickly builds as the camera tracks a razor thin wire stretching around the passengers after being set up by a mysterious serious person. The cable eventually snaps, slicing through all of the passengers aboard the ship, except for one little girl who was spared thanks to her height difference. What follows is an incredibly gory sequence of the halved bodies sliding apart from each other, with the little girl realising she is now all alone in the middle of the oceans, surrounded by gruesome corpses. It's truly horrific. Coming in at number 2, 28 Weeks Later. 28 Weeks Later is absolutely terrifying, and one of the best sequels to a horror film I've ever seen. The film takes place 6 months after the original epidemic, with the rage virus having annihilated the population of the British Isles. And what hits you in the opening scene of 28 Weeks Later is just how severe the outbreak has become. And pair that with oppressive silence, the opening is absolutely horrifying. Robert Carlyle's quiet home is rampaged by zombies as he's forced to leave his wife and flee his home, running with panicked breaths across vast fields as we watch on as a horde of zombies appear across the hills, chasing him with pure rage plastered on their faces, ready to take him down. The scene leaves viewers breathless and exhilarated, with the assurance that death will come for everyone. The scene is just 6 minutes long but feels like an eternity, and honestly, remove the rest of the film, the sequence could stand alone as one of the greatest zombie moments in history. And lastly, coming in at number 1, Jaws. Of course, nothing could top the haunting events that unfolded for Chrissy in the first few minutes of this 1975 horror. The film opens with Chrissy and a drunk hippie as they head to the beach to do some skinny dipping and perhaps get it on. We watch on as Chrissy swims further and further away from the shore as something below surface grabs her lower half, thrashing her around like a fish caught on a line while gurgling, it hurts. What makes this scene the number one on our list is that we don't see what's going on below the surface, yet our minds tell us everything we need to know. 
the shark has the poor girl in its grasps, making it one of the most convincing expressions of terror we've ever experienced. What makes this scene even more terrifying is knowing that the actress who played Chrissy actually suffered severe injuries from this scene, with the mechanical shark suffering some severe malfunctions, resulting in a handful of broken bones for the young actress. <laughs> Well, there we have it. Did you guys agree with our list? Were there any movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part 2. Before we go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 Scary Dark Stories Behind Children's Toys Fluffy Pink Chaos quoted me saying, I'm about to ruin your life, she says while smirking. This is why I love Lucy. You know me, I'm always going to bring you horror and tragedy with a big smile on my face. Happy to be here said, she reminds me of Wednesday Adams. Spot on. Into it. Sloth Servant said childhood ruined, but that's okay, I love this channel. Also Lucy, I will totally accept her as our leader when she takes over the world. Thanks, I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Also, when I take over? Hasn't that already happened? Richard King said, Lucy is back. I never left. Did I leave? No, I never left. I'm always here. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Until next time, see you later.